so we're here with uh, Matt Barkley and uh, Matt. You know, we actually are looking at uh, Rose Bowl. We're at the Rose Bowl right now, of course, and uh, the Rose Bowl signs. Matt, what do you think of uh, being here at the Rose Bowl? It's special, and knowing that uh, you know ultimately we, we won't be able to play in that game at the end of the season, uh, but also recognizing that this is going to be our last game against UCLA here. Uh, so, you know, our goal has been to, to play, to own the Rose Bowl, and, uh, and that's still, that's not going to change this year. It's still going to be our goal, uh, but uh, never played here. So, looking forward, it's kind of getting me fired up, but uh, looking forward to, to playing them our last game of the season. So, you are, um, without a doubt, one of the most watched youthful quarterbacks. I mean, freshman, first season starting for the USC Trojans, it's just amazing. Tell me about that that progress that you had to make as a teenager, and you know I'm, yeah. I'm sure the kids in the audience want to hear about that. Yeah, it was it was a big jump, but uh, you know I graduated high school early and got to USC uh, a semester in that, in that first spring semester, which I think really helped me make the transition. Um, it, uh, I think the seniors that year really helped me uh, just become more acclimated to what it's like to be a college student. Uh, and you know, knowing what it's like to play D1 football, um, but it's it's still it's still a work in progress. I'm still learning things every day, um, but it's, it's it's always cool to, to look up to guys, you know, our, our seniors and guys who have been there for a while, uh, and look to how, how they handle themselves and uh, how I can emulate them. How did uh, combines play a role in your growth as a star quarterback? Well, being a being a high-ranked quarterback in high school. Um, I kind of I kind of stayed away from from the combines where all the testings were taking place just because it you know it wouldn't have done anything it would have hurt me more than anything so um, but I loved going to the camps like all the all the quarterback camps uh, those were really neat to, to be able to meet some of the, the you know the best quarterbacks from around the country and other great players who I still keep in contact with and I, I'm still friends with um, so I, I would definitely encourage those uh, you know to get yourself to get your name out there but also to meet people who you can come across with later in life. In addition to uh, the NFL and winning some great games as, as a student at USC, what is your ambition? Yeah, ultimately is to, to play in the NFL. And uh, you know that going to college, you know, one looks to get a job after college. And my job, you know, I want to play football in, in the NFL. And so uh, still working on getting there. Uh, but ultimately, that's, that's what I want to do. Well, okay, so is there a second or third job preference that you would be willing to accept if you, the NFL wasn't handing out or, you know, working <laughs> in a uh, haven't, haven't thought too in depth about that. Uh, probably should, just as a backup. Um, but uh, maybe ministry, maybe, uh, you know, reaching out to kids, but um, hopefully that comes a little later in life. Uh, tell me, uh, who is your inspiration? growing up uh, to this day. Yeah, definitely my father. Uh, he played a huge role in my life. Of, uh, you know, he was always my coach in, in all my sports and uh, raised me to be a man and uh, not to take not to take any shortcuts. Um, you know, in today's generation, a lot of boys, a lot of men are acting like boys and uh, just time to act like a man. And um, But I think football-wise, I would say uh, always looked up to John Elway and, and, and now Peyton Manning, just the way they carry themselves and or, you know, they're that guy and they know it, um, and how they study film and stuff. It's, it's cool to look up to guys like that and learn, learn as much as you can from them. If you were to give <coughs> advice to the you know, youth watching in the audience, you know, what, what, is, what is some of that advice? I would say be teachable. Uh, be teachable whether it's a, you know, a coach or it's your parent or a teacher in class. Uh, that person has been in your footsteps before, they've been in your shoes, and, and they're there to help you. Uh, so. Uh, you know, whether it's learning a playbook or learning a textbook, uh, be as teachable as you can. And, and that's not just saying, okay, I got it, uh, and, and listening to what they're saying, but it's applying what, you know, that older person is, is telling you and, 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 and changing, whether it's a sport or whether it's in the classroom, and, and showing that change like you care. One last thing, I'd like you to be able to give a shout out to Newport Beach, which is your hometown, right? Oh, yeah. And tell me just a brief, uh, you know, what's going on in Newport Beach. Yeah, I've grown up there. It's, it's been a great summer going to the beach. And uh, nice swell came in a couple last week, uh, actually. Uh, the waves have been nice, but uh, love it. Always, always uh, will remember my roots. What board are you riding? Uh, I, I stay off the surfboards. I'm more of a body surfer, hit the wedge. Uh, give a shout out to the wedge. Uh, but uh, cruising all along down the beach, you can't go wrong. Mm -hmm.
Any last uh, childhood memories you want to share with us? Um, I always knew I would come here to UFC, so, yep. Beautiful.